welcome to my channel Corinne Go. This is the first video on my new channel. Content on this channel is going to be varied and interesting, consisting of pet related videos, vegetarian recipes, and singing with the piano. Videos will be uploaded daily, so stay tuned to my channel. Do leave comments in the comment section as I will be reading and responding to them. I'm open to suggestions and receptive to constructive advice or opinions. I like to add that there are restrictions to what I can achieve or do. So while I give it all for my exciting new channel, I will try not to disappoint my viewers. I do not give up and will do my best. Let's get started with my blog all about my pets. Just two days ago, I was about to wake Popcorn up to feed him his medication and do the teeth and eyes cleaning routine daily in the morning. I eye contacted him as he woke up and can tell he is looking forward to another day at the start of the day. I know the things he looks forward to all along are having bakery items that I buy weekly from the US Doggy Bakery at the pet store. He also is excited when I bring him out for daily walks. Since we moved house, he has gotten used to the new environment and started to run around while walking downstairs. He especially likes to be popular amongst the children at the playground and childcare centre. It's comforting to know Popcorn's doing well and I get satisfaction from knowing his life is successful and that is what makes me feel like all that I have done is worth it. I gave the rabbits a new setup with the new DIY hay rack to reduce wastage of hay that I use to put daily in their litter trays. There will be a DIY tutorial on it coming up. Also, look forward to a pet room tour and cage tours. Here are pictures of the bunny cages. I decided to remove the interlocking mats for the time being. I purchased new ones and am waiting for the order to arrive. The reason I removed the existing mats for the time being is to let the rabbit build resistance against saw hawks, which is inflammation of the foot from not having support like a soft surface for them to hop around on. Now, let's talk about Chiku and Rex. When I let them run around my room daily, they will usually start fighting after 30 minutes or so. Not so when I let them free range in the living room instead because they are territorial over the pet room which is also where their cages are. I can let them out in the living room daily but that does not solve the problem at hand. I will continue to train them when I free range them in my room. It will be an even harder task to bond all three rabbits, two male and a female. The two bucks who are bonded might pair up to fight against Patch, the new rabbit. I know that this will take a longer time and daily attention, perhaps a few months up to a year. I made a new DIY bottom breaker for Patch and will be uploading a tutorial coming up too in one of the daily videos that I'll be posting on my channel. What's up is working on taming with her towards myself. Here is a clip on what I'm doing for 30 minutes daily at night. I remove most of the items in her cage and sit down inside with her. She will learn faster in a caged up area where there is less distraction and we can continue to concentrate on taming. Sometimes, I try to stroke her head and upper body but most of the time I let her approach me herself so we will not rush the taming process and Patch will learn to bond with me when she is ready. I try not to pick up any of my rabbits unless necessary as rabbits are prey animals and do not like to be picked up. Louis enjoys running around free range in my room. It is best to let hamsters 
especially Syrian hamsters, exercise for what's best is 3-4 to four hours a day by free-ranging them in an enclosed room that is hamster-proof. Hamster-proofing, such as the area being safe with no way for them to get lost or escape. There is no way harm can come to them, for example, having another pet that might attack them. And the area does not have loud noises or sounds that will stress them out. Be sure to watch over your hamster and be alert, as they are small creatures and will be vulnerable to danger when let out of their cage. It will be harder to free range dwarf hamsters as their size makes it easy for them to escape and they are more nimble and can run faster than their Syrian counterparts when we want to catch them. It might be possible as certain hamsters can be taught to go home when called or they can learn to come up to your hands or just sit still. Hamsters can be taught to behave as we like. That's what's so amazing about these tiny creatures. I managed to tame my winter white hamster Periwinkle but still needs to work on holding her. I mentioned in one of my older videos in my first channel Hemi Coco that because I am exposing my pets in photos and videos on social media, they do not become pink easily as they will be suitable to post in photos but cannot let us interact with them to a certain extent. There is nothing wrong with that, and we can find other ways to interact with them, such as making DIY toys for them, or simply holding them in a certain way only, especially crucial at old age when we have to administer medicine to them. I enjoy myself stroking her in her cage, and take her out with a mug into a box to practice holding her daily. This is the end of my vlog entry number 1. Look forward to many more vlogs like this and leave a like if you enjoyed my video. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and don't forget to turn on the notification bell at the side of the subscribe button to be notified when I upload a video. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you learned something or simply just felt entertained by my video especially with the pictures of my pets. I will see you in the next video.